Hi there, welcome back to Pillars of Eternity on the highest level. We're in Crackhold. We have beaten the siege of Crackhold Bluffs and now a man named Thanos wants to speak with us. In in Crackhold, it seems. Yes. But we are wary for traps. I mean an assassin told us this and he came from that that side. So ooh, what what will what should we do? Is he also someone who who would uh, attack Consulhard, old Consulhard? Something flying around, void seers. Seems like we can drop the disguise. This is somehow friendly now, I think. Something is rattling here. There's a thrall ravager. Tenos. A withrek. Oh, a withrek. We're friends with the withreks. A withrek turns to you, clicking its mandibles and long clawed fingers together. The creature floats above the ground and sways, just as it looks like it's going to leap on you. You hear a voice in your head. Godlike beast comes, yes. Most please is Thanos. The Withrak pauses, looking you up and down with beady eyes. Not apprentice, no. Godlike beast is something else. It leans closer, membranes around its jaws pulse and tremble. It seems to be smelling you. No camp smell. But like a warrior hive above, no. The Withrak's thoughts are a whisper in your mind. It needs its mouth parts together thoughtfully. Not apprentice and not warrior drone, then maybe godlike beast is ally, yes. Um, first, its eyes shine. First, what are you doing here? Making spell. Spell to please master, see? The Withrak extends one slender arm toward a nearby thrall. As the Withrak mutters unintelligible syllables, the thrall turns to you and bows. Much work to be done, yes, yes, but control spell will please master greatly. Um, who are all these people with you? The Withrak waves its arm. Servants, guards, useful tools, probably taken from the mercenaries out there, out there, so... Yeah, you think we can help each other? With key, with apprentice, rivals. Oh, there are other apprentices, so he is one of the apprentices. There are other apprentices of Consulhard. The Withrak chirps its excitement. Tainos works hard for Master, but other apprentices, nasty beasts, want to be Master's favorite, want to kill Tainos. Tainos chitters pitifully. What do you want, to, want me to do for you? Kill apprentice rivals, of course. Tainos draws, hits Spindly claws into fists. Tenor's nose, Tenor's nose, godlike beast came to see Master. But Master has door, and door wants key. Tenor spreads his mandibles wide to show you a round toothed orifice. Well, tell me about the key. Key's words is knowledge. One claw traces a spiraling pattern across the creature's rigid skull. Master give key part to each apprentice. Say cleverest, strongest apprentice, take all key parts. Tainos accentuates the thought by squeezing a tight fist. But godlike beast take key parts from other apprentice rivals, yes, then Tainos give final key part. The Withrak scuttles closer, chattering and interlacing its fingers. Tainos is cleverest apprentice, no? For after godlike beast sees master, then Tenos see master, become new, favorite. The Withrak's unblinking eyes glitter, so he wants us to kill the other apprentices and then be the master apprentice. Um, I'll keep that in mind. Let's talk to the other apprentices. Uh, let's talk about something else now. Tenos hovers in place, one mandible twitching. You seem pretty eager to work with me. Tenor's eager to learn. 
and masters favor eager still to survive <laughs> good one good one we need to find consul heart hmm what more is here oh a lot to find out maybe something diplomatic what's this the corpse's skin has been peeled back and held in place with a thick wishes webbing and this glass jars on the shelves contain brains of various sizes what is it the brain interesting what are the other guys about and what is this what, what is this for here now there's steel spines sabel the dwarf whirls to face you her face and throat are twisted with fresh scar tissue her remaining eye arrows, narrows as she assesses you. Out. Her voice is little more than a croak as she points you to the door. Ah. Uh. Hey there. Um. If we do something like that, will she attack? What are you working on? She hisses and gestures angrily at the door. I just have a few questions. She holds up her right hand, three fingers extended. As you watch, she lowers one, then another. She looks from you to the door. All right, I'm going. So we're not going to help this dwarf. She, did, she doesn't want to talk. And here, that's the man who made the Olgals. All right. Peldon. He is not outright talking to us. Creature in the tank remains still, but its eyes follow you as you get close. So he, is, he has made these guys from Baldur's Gate, right? There's no movement from the creature inside this tank. Oh, we can unlock this. Where there's a pick, there's a way. It's finished. Nice. And here, an Almawasis creature floats in this tank. Its flesh is sh shriveled and grey. It's some kind of necromancer. There's no movement. Mm. What does Peldon do? What are you doing, man? The laboratory reeks of rotting flesh, but the elf doesn't seem to notice. He's busy writing notes into a small book and he doesn't even look up as you approach, but he frowns when your shadow falls across his page. Stand back, ghoul. I'll summon you when I have need of you. He points to a dim corner of the laboratory. Um, could be clever. Are we clever? We're clever a bit. You say so, but don't you want to know how I taught myself to speak? He finally looks up at you, startled and irritated. Effigy's eyes. Who are you? He shakes his head and waves a hand, nearly grazing you with his breath. I don't have time for this. Get out of here and leave me to my work, all right? These goals are different, more docile and less rotten. I should hope so. I've been trying to stabilize them, prevent them from decaying further. He looks at you out of the corners of his of eyes. Of course, the process is not yet complete. Oh... What do you know about Crackhold? Why must you bother me with such inane questions? Go interrupt one of the other apprentices. Their time is much less valuable than mine. <laughs> Can you tell me anything about Consulhout? Glances up long enough to shoot you. Suspicious glare. If you've never studied his repertoire of spellwork, never read of his accomplishments in Maestra Albena's histories of modern magic, and somehow missed the small army he's held back outside, then no. I don't know what to tell you, except that he's a powerful wizard with little patience. He licks his thumb and turns a page. Ah, hmm. he's also an outright asshole, so no points for him. For now, we're with a withrack. He has been at least a little bit polite. Who's in here? Wariki. 
Oh, invisible things. Where there's a pick, there's a way. It's Can finished. It something nice. So much to take here. Uariki. What's what's here? This shelf has been nicked and notched all along its length. He's an animator. Watch it. Distract me again, and you're like to lose an eye or whatever it is you've got. <laughs> Even as she speaks, the Aumawan looks not at you, but at a row of weapons laid out on the table. Ah, uh, aren't you concerned about the siege Council outside? Hot hasn't even bothered to come out of his study since the attack started, so why should I worry? Need right. something? I'm still busy here. She places a dagger on a scale and scrolls a note on the parchment beside her. Um, I'm surprised I'm allowed to wander if so Consul freely. If Consul didn't want you here, you'd have known it the moment you came down those stairs. And then you'd be dead. If you were lucky. What are you doing? Cataloging weights, centers of gravity. Controlling a three and a half foot blade in the air is harder than it looks. She balances her sword between her index fingers and juts a note. Tell me about him. He's not someone you want to cross. Or disappoint. You know, I really should get back to work. Who else is in Crackhold? Aside from me, there are three other apprentices working on their own projects. I don't know anything about Sabal or Peldon, but stay away from Thanos, the Vithrak. There's something about him I don't trust. Yeah, uh... <laughs> he sent me to... no. <laughs> hmm... She seems kind of sympathetic. He's not as, that much an asshole as the others. So we might help her. Let's first see what else is there in the tower. Oh, some kind of a dungeon here, isn't there? A blade Maybe in the dark. Maybe this is where we should sneak again and scout. A lever. We'll open this thing, probably. Let's first have a look at the cave as it is. Oh, ah, that opens up that thing. All right. Yeah, let's just open it. Let's just open it up. We've been there. So we have a connection. Oh, that's the sealed door, right? Void seers. Silence. Do not disturb the apprentices. Um. Well, And here. You see no keyhole in the door, yet a voice booms from the other side, almost as if the speaker were standing right in front of you. Your master awaits a worthy pupil. Let the apprentice who has perfected a spell and gathered the lessons of his fellows speak his purpose. Ah, uh, all right. Not yet. Of course. So we have to decide. The Withrak or Uariki? I mean, that Withrak is so eager to work with us. He's even sent us someone. I'll see it done. It's finished. Oh, there was a trap. Interesting. <laughs> As you wish. One more trap. I'll see it done. Malignant cloud. I'll now? see it done. It's finished. What's there? The last tower. Ooh, nice. Hey, another iridescent scarab figurine. Wow, we have two of them now. That will be pr pretty helpful. These guys are hard to kill. A lot of Adra. An opal and a pearl. Wow. Where there's and a pick, there's a way. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No. Cannot disarm the trap. We don't want to trigger that trap.
So what mechanics do we have at the moment? Let's see. Let's see. We've got mechanics 13. Traps. That should be enough, I'll right? I'll see it done. Nope. I'll see it done. Nope. Hmm. Hmm. I'll see it done. Seems like we need more there. Still something to think about. So, um, next time we'll decide who to help. <laughs> oh man, it will either be the Withrak or Wariki. Um, well? Yeah. There's that. What is it? Hmm. That's gonna be interesting. Probably Uareki, because the Withrak yes. seems kind of... I mean, if he controls everyone here, he might control us, right? And that's not something we want. So we're likely to yes. help Wariki, even if we've helped with Rex before. So thank you for watching. Happy gaming to you, and we'll find out who will really help, and what will happen then, of course, in the next episode. Have a good time.